Okay, at ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin ang Lesson 2, The Elements of Arts. Ito ay under pa rin na Quarter 1, Module 1, Arts Grade 10. Okay? Now, Elements of Arts. Medium and elements together are the materials the artist uses in creating a work of art. The distinction between them is easy to see but hard to define. An element can be known only in some medium, but as an element, it is independent of medium. When we study elements, we consider them with no attention to the means by which we can come into contact with, with the work of art. The elements are its qualities or properties. We have seven elements pagdating sa arts. Okay? Now, we have the first one is line. Second is shape. The third is space. Fourth, value. Five, color. Six, texture. And seven, perspective. Then the annual, we do have seven elements pagdating sa art. Okay? Now, we now look with greater care at the elements of the visual arts as a kind of basic language with which the artists were. Kumbaga, ito yung foundation ng art. Ito yung basic language. Sa uh, communication, kung we do have alphabet, uh, uh, A, A, B, C, D, sa art, elements of art, ang ating alphabet when it comes to art. Siya yung foundation. Doon nagmula lahat. Okay? Now, the first one is line. Okay. Now, what is line? Now, line is our basic means for recording and symbolizing ideas, observations, and feelings. It is a primary means of visual communication. Lines always have what? Direction. Okay? They are always active or gumagalaw. May patutunguhan lagi ang line. Hindi siya stagnant. Okay? So, mom, di ba still lang sila sa painting? Hindi naman gumagalaw yung painting. Yes. Pero, alam mo kung siya ay sa naanggulong patungo o kuntin, uh, kumbaga yung daloy ng linya. May illusion silang parang papunta o doon ang, doon ang galing, doon ang start, doon ang end, doon papunta. Okay? Pataas ba siya? Pababa. O siya ay patuloy-tuloy, walang katapusang line. Diba? So, the following illustrates the line variations. It's according to Preble, 1999. Okay, now we have 10 line variations. The first one is actual line. Okay. Second is implied line and implied curved line. The next is actual straight loan and implied curved line. The next is line created by an edge. Vertical line. Attitude of alert attention. So, sabi natin, attitude of alert in attention. That is vertical line. Pata yung linya. Now, attitude of rest. That will be horizontal line yung pahigang linya now we have diagonal lines slow action and, or it can be fast action that is diagonal lines now the next one is is sharp jag lines okay and we do have dance of curving lines and another one is hard line and soft line okay and the last one is ragged and irregular line. And as you can see here, sa ating, ano to? Sa ating pictures right here, ito ang ibig sabihin o ang itsura nung sampung linya, uri ng linya o variations ng linya na sinabi. Now, the next one is shape. Ano ang Tagalog sa shape? Alam ko, alam nyo na to. And that is hoogies. Okay, now, shape refers to the expanse within the outline of a two-dimensional area or within the outer boundaries of three-dimensional object. Now, 
It may be geometric which tends to be precise or irregular like circles, triangles, squares or organic which are irregular, often curving or rounded and seem relaxed and more informal. Mom, ano yung organic and regular shape? Okay, pag sinabi natin regular shape, ito yung regular shape, yung alam natin, simulan ng pagkabata natin. Circle, triangle, rectangle, square, those are regular shapes. Now, ano yung organic shapes? Now, organic shapes ay yung makikita mo sa nature. For example, dahon. Hindi mo naman masasabing triangle or square yung dahon, di ba? Hindi mo naman masasabing oblong ba siya. Tree! Yung trunk ng isang tree, di ba? Hindi mo naman siya masasabing rectangle. Hindi mo rin siya masasabing circle. Hindi mo rin siya masasabing lalong triangle, di ba? So, those are the examples of organic shapes. Okay? Now, most common shapes in human-made world are geometric while most shapes in nature are organic. And geometric shapes yung tawag din natin dun sa mga regular shapes na alam natin. We have Q, uh, we have... Yan yan, circles, triangles, squares. Another is yung mga three-dimensional like cubes. Um, cylinder. Okay? So, that's it. Mass is a physical bulk of a solid body material and it has a three-dimensional area. Okay, now this is an example of mass in three dimensions. So, that is a sculpture. Okay? Mass. Bagay. Nahahawakan. Okay? Like this. Now, that is Recumbent Figure by Henry Moore, 1938, Green Horton Stone. Made of Green Horton Stone. So, this is an example of mass in two dimensions. And that is Head of a Young Man by Pablo Picasso, 1923, Grease Crayon Drawing. Grease Crayon Drawing. So, dito... Mass in three dimension. Pag sinabi mong dimension, kita mo yung palibot ng shape. Makita mo talaga siya. Hindi siya flat. As, e, as in, maobserbahan mo yung palibot o 360 degrees no bagay na iyon. At kalimitan nito yung makikita mo sa mga sculpture. Okay, now how about here? Mass in two dimension. Two dimension because siya ay drawing sa isang what? Flat surface lang. Flat. Papel. Pader. Ganun element of art is the space. Space is undefinable general receptacle of all things. It is continuous, infinite, and ever-present. Okay? The visual arts are sometimes referred to special arts because most of the art forms are organized in space. Okay? Now, architects are special uh, Architects are specially concerned with space, with three-dimensional objects such as in architecture and sculpture. One has to move around to get a full experience of three-dimensional space. So, kung baga sa isang three-dimensional figure or sa isang sculpture, may kita mo three hundred three-dimensional. Okay, you have to move around to get full experience of three-dimensional space. Para ma-appreciate mo isang art, especially yung mga statue o yung mga sculptures, kailangan mong libutin, buo, para makita mo lahat yung sides. Diba? Now, with two-dimensional works, such as drawings, paints, uh, prints, photographs, photographs, and paintings, the actual space is defined by its edges. Usually, the two-dimensional Usually, the two dimensions of height and width. Okay. Sa so paintings, drawings, and sketches, alin ang spatio o space niya? Of course, hindi yung edge niya, yung panabi, yung height and width. Height and width. <laughs> o nga, height and width. Diba? Yun na. At saka isang flat, kita mo na lahat. Hindi mo na siya kailangang i-flip pa or ikutin. Unlike ng three-dimensional na kailangan mo talagang lumibot dun sa paligid ng object para makita mo o ma-appreciate mo yung buong art 
while in two-dimensional, wala, flat lang. Ayan na. Yung edge lang na yan, ang kanyang space. Ito yung tabi, yung edge. Parang picture. Yung edge lang ng picture. Yun na yung space niya. Okay? Or painting. Yung tabi ng canvas. Yun na yun. Yun na yung space niya. Okay? Now, we do have examples here. Diagrams of clues to spatial depth, depth in two-dimensional surface by Preble 1999. Okay. Now, we have letter A, overlap. Letter B, overlap and diminishing size. Letter C, vertical placement. Letter D, overlap, vertical placement, and diminishing size. The next one is value. Value refers to the lightness, okay, lightness and darkness of surfaces. It ranges from white to various grays to black, okay? Remember that. Now, it can be a property of color or an element-independent color. Pwedeng property of color or kahit isang color or independent color. Okay. Chiaroscuro is the use of gradations of light and shade in which the forms are revealed by the subtle shifting from light to dark areas. This technique was developed during the Renaissance period to create illusion that figures and objects depicted on a flat surface appear as they do in the natural light condition. So, okay. Ito yung best example niya, yung bola. Or halimbawa, yung nagdodraw kayo ng apple, tapos lagyan mo ng ilaw. O sa ilabas mo, so, uh, itapat mo siya sa pintana may natural light na magbibim dyan, idodraw mo siya in actual nasa yung shadow para maging realistic somehow. Okay? Now, we do have here the value scale from white to black. Okay? Now, the next one is color. Okay? Color. Color is a component of light. It affects us directly by modifying our thoughts, moods, actions, and even our health. Color exists only in light. But light itself seems colorless to the human eye. So, ah, nag exist pala ang mga kulay by means of what? Light. And what is the absence of light? Black. So, pag nakita tayo ng ilaw or light, wala. Plain white lang siya. Pero, andun, maraming color ang light. Okay? Now, properties of color. Hue is particular... Okay, hue. Not Y-O-U, it's hue. Hue is particular wavelength of spectral color to which we give name. In 1666, Brit uh, British scientist Sir Isaac Newton discovered that when the light of the sun passes through a glass prism just like here in the picture it is separated into the bands of colors that make up the visible spectrum the sequence of the spectral color is red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet okay yun yung pagkakasunod sunod okay now, I purple you. <laughs> Burahe. <laughs> anyway, so go back. going back, primary hues are red, yellow, and blue. Secondary hues are orange, green, and violet. These are produced by the mixture of the primary color or hues. Now, we do have the intermediate hue, and ito yung mga yon. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, and red, violet. Each are located between the primary and the secondary use of which they are composed. Kita nyo naman dito sa ating color wheel. We do have the primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Now, pag pinagsama-sama or pinagmix nyo siya, we do have orange, 
green and violet. Now, let's have the intermediate color. At ito yung mga pagitan ng secondary at primary colors. Okay? Now, colors affects our feelings about size and distance as well as temperature. Yellow, green, and red, violet are the poles dividing the color wheel into cool and warm hues. Cool colors found at the blue-green side of the wheel, while the warm colors at the red-orange side appear to expand and advance. Okay, now, objects that appear to be black absorbs all the colors, while objects that appear white reflects all the colors of the spectrum. Kaya nga meron paniniwala na pag nagsuot ka ng black t-shirt, inaabsorb niya yung init o yung light. Especially pag lumabas ka, pag tanghaling tapat. Mainit ang black na t-shirt or dress. Kasi inaabsorb niya yung ilaw. Hindi siya nagbabounce back. So, absorb lahat ng t-shirt mo daw yung init o yung light. Kaya prefer nila pag pupunta ka sa man, mainit na lugar o maliwanag masyado, wear lighter colors like White t-shirt. Okay? Now, objects that appear to be black absorbs all the colors, while objects that appear white reflects all the colors of the spectrum. Black and white are not true colors. Remember this. Okay? Black and white are not true colors. And their combination, gray, is achromatic. And they are often referred as neutrals. Okay? Now, let's have value. Value refers to the relative lightness and darkness from white through what? Through grays and black. Now, while intensity, also called as saturation, refers to the purity of a hue or color. The pure hue is the most intense form of a given color. The hue at its highest saturation and the hue in, it, in its brightest form. That is pure hue. Naulit ko. The pure hue is the most intense form of a given color. The hue at its highest saturation and the hue uh, in its brightest form. That is the intensity. Okay? Now, let's go to the next element of art. And that is texture. The textile qualities of surfaces or two. The visual representation of those qualities is referred to as texture in visual art. Now, actual texture are those we can feel by touching. Simulated texture, okay, let's take note of this. Simulated. Simulated texture are those created to look like something other than uh, paint on a flat surface. Now, anong example ng simulated texture? Now, painters simulate texture while sculptures and architects Make use of actual texture. Now, ngayon, magtataka ka. Ma'am, ano yung simulated texture? Sabi nga dito, painters simulate texture. So, ang example ng simulated textures are those paintings na pag tiningnan mo, parang ang dating nung pintay, napakagaspang. Katulad nitong nasa painting na ito. Simulated lang siya. Okay? Kita mo, kahit hindi mo hipuin, kita mo na, magaspang siya. Now, while sculptures and architects make use of actual texture, pag tinignan mo, magaspang, at pag hinipa mo, hinipo mo, magaspang din. At yun ay real texture. Actual texture. At ang gumagawa nun ay sculptures and architects. Okay? Now, the next one is, and the last one, last but not the least, perspective. Okay, so what is perspective? Perspective is point of view. Okay? Point of view. Saan ka nakatingin? Ano yung perspective mo? Diba? 
Perspective is point of view. In visual arts, it can refer to any means of representing three-dimensional objects in space on a two-dimensional surface. Huh? Three-dimensional? Sa two-dimensional? Oo. For example, nagpinta ka. Hindi lang flat na, for example, a box. Ginawa mo drawing ng three-dimensional na box or cube. Okay? So, sa perspective, alin ang gulo mo ang iuuna mo or ipipresenta mo sa viewer? Alin ang gulo or ano yung view na ipapakita mo sa iyong audience? Okay? Now, it is a system it is a system designed to depict the way objects in space appear to the eye. In linear perspective, objects appear smaller at a distance. Because parallel lines appear to converge as they recede into the distance. And the last meeting of the lines of the horizon is called vanishing point. Okay. Now, di ba, pag halimbawa, nag-drawing kayo ng isang road, nag-meet siya, di ba? Pagitna. Okay. And ang tawag doon sa pag meet na yun, sa parallel lines, pag nag meet sila, that's what you call what? It vanished, right? So, ang tawag doon ay vanishing point. Okay. Now, pag yung parang ang layo ng tingin, horizon, di ba parang pawala siya ng pawala? Pamit ng pamit. Vanishing point, ang tawag doon. Now, time and motion. What is time and motion? Time is non-spatial in which events occur in succession. Our experience of time depends upon the movements we experience and vice versa. A sense of motion can be created by actual change in position. Light. The source, color, intensity, and direction of light greatly affect the way things appear. As light changes, surfaces illuminated, illuminated by it also appear to change. To suggest the way light reveals form, artists use changes in value. Okay, so time and motion and uh, at saka itong light, importante yan kasi by means of light, mapapalitan o mababago itsura ng iyong theme o yung iyong object na pininta. Okay, so pwede siyang lumiit, dating niya maliit, pwede dating niya malaki. Depende sa ilaw o ang gulo, nasan yung ilaw ng the, iyong object. Okay, now time and motion. Pag sinabi mong time and motion, para bang illusion na gumagalaw yung iyong painting? Para ba siyang naglalakad? Umiisod? O... Nagalaw? Di ba parang may nakita kayong mga painting na parang gumagalaw? <laughs> Hindi dahil ano ha? Nananakot or whatsoever. Para siyang may succession. Dahil yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng character o ng material, parang may illusion. Optic illusion na para siya ay moving or gumagalaw. Okay. Now, let's have this activity. Evaluate the designs below and try to see what elements of art are applied. Write your answer in your test notebook. So, I repeat, tanong kung saan kayo magsasagot. Okay? So, let's look at the pictures. Let's have number one. Sa so, tingin nyo kaya, anong element of ano yan? Element of art. Hmm. What do you think? Try natin sagutan. Okay? So, that will be what? Space. Okay? Tingnan nyo. Kasha ba siya? Dun sa edge? Tingnan yung edges. Diba parang sumobra? Parang sobra siya. Okay, the next one. Ano ang pinakamarami na nakikita nyo? Ano yung dominant na element na nakikita nyo? It's line, right? Now, the next one is, oh, ito. Nag-drawing ka ng three-dimensional sa 2D o two-dimensional. Tapos, saan siya nakatingin? I mean, ano yung perspective na nakikita mo? So, nasabi ko na, it's what? Perspective. So, number four. 
Tingnan nyo. Hmm. What is that? Ano yan? It is, ano yung dominant na nakikita nyo sa kanya? Bakit siya buhay na buhay? It is, color. Now, how about here, number five? So, tingin nyo, ano yan? Pakinis ba siya? <laughs> magaspa, mukha siyang magaspang. Though siya ay feather. Smooth ang feather. So, ano siya? It's texture. Now, how about number six? Hmm. Anong number six? May dark area. May light area. Yung shade. Though, iisang color ang ginamit niya. Tawag dyan ay value. Okay? So, here, how about sa number seven? Number seven. Ano yan? Ano ang nakikita nyo? Puro lines ba? Yes, may color. Pero ano yung dominant? Marami siyang shape. Okay. How about here in number eight? Ano yan? Hmm. Ano yung dominant na nakikita nyo? Yung sinasabi ko may time and motion din. Tingnan nyo, para siyang gumagalaw. Ano yan? It is line. Okay. Now, how about number nine? Ano ang meron sa number nine? Hmm. Ano yung sinabi ko kanina? My vanishing point. Para siyang magtatagpo kasi papunta siyang, I mean, you're looking at the horizon. Anong tawag doon? Starts with letter P. Hmm. It's perspective. How about number 10? Hmm. Ano yan? Dahon. Simulated niya. Alam mo, napakita niya. So, hindi mo hinawakan. Diba? Hindi mo hawakan yung picture. <laughs> Baka nga kahit hawakan mo, makinis yan eh. Pero, upon looking at the painting, mukha siyang ano, magaspang. So, papasok dyan ay si texture. Okay, so let's have a recap. Number one is space. Tingnan nyo na lang yung mga pagitan ng bawat line na meron din. Ano? Number two is, of course, dominant na may kita may puro line. Na puro lines. <laughs> Number three, perspective. Siya ay three-dimensional painting na na uh, three-dimensional na naka sketch sa 2D. Okay, now we have number four, of course, dominant color. Number five, texture. Six, I value. Seven, I shape. Eight, I line. And number nine, perspective. Number 10, texture. Okay? Now, let's move on. Now, let's have assessment 2. Now, basahin natin to. Subukan natin sagot sagutan. Sagutan natin. Okay, now. And now, let's have assessment 2. Sagutan natin to. Directions. Identify the elements of art that is described in each item. Write your answer in your test notebook. Okay, number one. These tend to be precise and regular in shape. Hmm, meron tayo kaninang sinabing dalawang uri ng shape, de ba? Yung isa ay organic. Ano yung isa? Siya ay what? Geometric shape. Okay. Now, how about here? Number two. Okay. The visual arts are sometimes referred as this because most of the art forms are organized in space. The keyword here is organized in space. Organized in space. What's that? It is Special arts. Okay? So, the next one is 
They always seem to be moving and we follow them with our fingers, our gestures, or our eyes. Seems to be moving. Hindi siya stagnant. Lagi siyang may direction. Anong element yun? Ha? Huh. Siya ay line. Okay. So, now let's have number four. Number four, it refers to the lightness and darkness from white through grays to black. Hmm. Ano yun? It's value. Okay? So, eh, vale. <laughs> value. Okay? So, number five. Objects appear smaller at a distance because parallel lights appear to converge as they recede into distance. Ano yon? Sabi ko, parang parallel lines, nagmimit sa center. We do have vanishing point. Pero ito, objects appear smaller because of parallel lines. Anong tawag sa parallel lines na yon? Okay, that is linear perspective. Okay. So, now, number six. Artists use this element to heighten the emotional impact. It affects your emotions. <laughs> Yung dating nung painting. Ito ay what? Texture. Okay? Now, the last meeting on the lines on the horizon. Yung nawala ang lines. Itong linear perspective na yan. Starts with letter V. It is vanishing point. Okay? Now, the next one is a particular wavelength of spectral color. Hmm. Spectral color. The keyword here is wavelength of spectra. Keywords. Wavelength. Mahaba yan. Hindi lang isa. Isang color. Wavelength. So, we do have... Starts with letter H. Hue. Okay, how about number nine? The mixture of two primary hues. And the linian. Mixture of two, two primary hues. That is what? It is secondary color or secondary use. Okay, now, the physical bulk of a solid or... Wait long. Uh -huh. Yeah, para kita natin ulit. This is... Uh -huh. Secondary use. Huh? Secondary use. Okay, now, number 10. The physical bulk of a solid body of material and a thin and a The mixture of two primary hues. What is that? It is secondary hues. Okay. Now, number 10. The physical bulk of a solid body of a material and a three-dimensional area. What's that? Yung bulk. Yung kaya mo hawakan. Solid body of material and three-dimensional siya. Okay. So, that is mass. Okay, so, number one, geometric shape. Number two, that is special arts. Number three, 
line, 4, value, 5, linear perspective, 6, texture, 7, vanishing point, 8, hue, 9, secondary use, and 10, mass. Okay, now let's go na kung ano ba yung natutunan ninyo. Okay, what I have learned. Now, directions. Below is a reflection weight that aims to determine what you have realized, the attitudes towards learning, the things that you have discovered, skills that you will cherish for life, and the things you have learned, knowledge that serves as your foundation to stand and keep you going. Fill each part of the weight and share it to your friends, classmates, or your family. Okay, kayo magsasagot nito, things I've realized, or attitude. Ano yung na-realize mo habang nag-aaral tayo nito? Pwedeng marami. Okay, now, things I have discovered. Pagdating sa skills, dahil sinubukan mo mag-drawing, malay mo, discover ba? Ay, kaya ko palang mag-draw. Okay? Ay, kaya ko palang mag-assess ng isang painting. Diba? So, and of course, here, things I have learned. Ah, ito yung mga natutunan ko ngayon. Like the elements of art, uh, meron ding principles of design. Ito yung mga natutunan ko. Yan, pwede mo ilista yan dyan. Okay? Now, what I can do. Directions. Analyze the sample arts below. Identify what principle of design and elements of art is applied. Tandaan nyo pa yung principle? Anim yun. And of course, the seven elements. Now, look at the picture. I-assess nyo. Dito sa picture na to, anong meron? Of course, kauna-unahan sa elements, may color agad. Now, may nakikita kang lines, di ba? Kita nyo yung lines na yan. And how about the, yung ano to, yung space nila sa bawat isa? Consistent ba? Now, sa so principles, Repetition and rhythm. Diba? Unity and variety. Yung mga yun. Kumusta naman? I-assess mo sila doon using those principles and elements. Now, how about here? Dito. Ilang color? Gumamit ba siya ng maraming color? Hmm. Lines. Anong uri ng lines ang ginamit niya? Now, emphasis. Saan may emphasis yan? May emphasis ba siya? Okay. Parang pa-center lang siya lagi. Nandito lang ano. Parang yan. And moving. Time and motion. Feeling mo ba siya ay moving? And how about the, what you call this? Yun din. May apply mo siya repetitions and rhythm, right? So that's it. Now, let's dig more. Directions. Copy the design and draw it to your paper. Materials, pencil, eraser, short bond paper, or Oslo paper. Now, remember that every person has his or her own God's unique talent. Hmm. Ano kayang talent mo? Drawing, singing, dancing, literature? Go out on your own world with your passion. Embrace your talent and start loving arts. Now, let's go to assessment number two. Complete the crossword by filling in a word that fits each clue. So, punta na tayo sa clue, then itatype ko yung mga sagot. Okay? Now, basahin muna natin. Number one, the achievement of equilibrium. The word here is equilibrium. The condition in which acting influences are held in check by opposing forces. Opposing. Kung ano yung meron sa kaliwa, meron din dapat sa kanan. Anong tawag doon? It is what? Balance. Good job. Now, let's go to number two. The artist used this principle to draw our attention to an area or areas. Anong tawag doon? Doon ka dapat mapapatingin. The keyword is Draw our attention to an area. Keywords. Okay, or phrase. Now that is what? It's M 
emphasis. Okay, now number three. In visual art, it is created through a regular recurrence of elements with related variations. Yung paulit-ulit, may variation siya. Maliit, 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 malaki. Maliit, 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 malaki. Or maliit, malaki, maliit, malaki, maliit, malaki, malaki. <laughs> so, may mga ma variation siya. Starts with letter R. Ano yon? Siya ay what? Re, spell rhythm. <laughs> rhythm. Okay, so that is rhythm. Now, number four. It is the appearance or condition of oneness. Oneness. Mm. Oneness. That is what? Start with letter U. That is unity. Okay, now we have mutual areas of lesser interest are created by artists through this principle of design. Iba meron tayong emphasis. Ano yung tawag sa paligid mo? Lesser interest. Huh. Lesser interest. That is su what? Su subordination. Okay, that's it. Now, how about here? Across. It is the relation of one thing to another. Relation of one thing to another. What is that? Hmm. That is scale. Okay. Now, how about number seven? It provides diversity and acts as a counterbalance to extreme unity. Kahit alam alam mo yon yung sinabi natin. Um, may oneness ka pero hindi pweding isang color lang ginamit mo, hindi pweding isang line lang ginamit mo. Meron ka rin dapat nito. What's that? Unity and variety. Good job. Okay. Variety. <laughs> now, in visual elements, this gives a composition unity, continuity, flow, and emphasis. What's that? What is that? Ulit. Composition, unity, continuity, flow, and emphasis. It is... Kasama siya ni rhythm. Repetition. Okay. Now we have repetition. Now number nine. It is the size relationship of parts to a whole. Hmm. It is the size. Keyword here is the size. Really keywords. Size relationship of parts to a whole. Hmm. Keywords or phrase. That is proportion. Okay, so number 10. It can be seen in the thick and thin areas of a single brush stroke. Ito yung kung may large, may small. May light, may dark. May thick, may thin. Anong tawag doon? Kabaligtaran. Con. Contrast. Good job. Okay, so we have scale, variety, repetition, proportions, and contrast. Okay, so that's it. Ayun na yung answer ko. Okay, so we finished your lesson. Okay, congratulations and salamat dahil nakarating kayo sa dulo. Okay, at yun ang topic nyo for Arts Quarter 1. Module 1, Principles of Design and Elements of Arts. Hanggang sa muli! Goodbye! Annyeong!